This is the National Weather Service in Grand Junction, Colorado. Today is Saturday, October 5th, 2013, and the following weather briefing is a summary of what happened the past two days with this early season winter storm. We will also look ahead to the coming week and the next potential for precipitation. Here is a summary of what happened. Mild temperatures occurred on Thursday, October 3rd, out ahead of the cold front, with valley temperatures in the 70s. Temperatures dropped rapidly behind the strong cold front as it moved through Thursday evening with wind gusts in the 35 to 45 mile per hour range in the valleys. Rain fell in most valleys with heavy wet snow in higher valleys and mountains through Friday evening, October 4th, as the low tracked across southwest Wyoming and northern Colorado. Freezing temperatures occurred in most valleys both Friday morning and Saturday morning, October 5th. So how much snow actually fell? Well, the northern Colorado mountains did the best, with 7 to 16 inches in the Elkhead and Park Range and 4 to 12 inches in the flat tops. In the central Colorado mountains, 2 to 12 inches fell on the Grand Mesa, 2 to 7 in the Gore and Elk Mountains, and 1 to 5 inches in the West Elk and Sawatch Range. The southern Colorado mountains had the least amounts, with 2 to 5 inches over the Uncapagre Plateau and 1 to 2 inches in the San Juans with up to 4 inches on northwest slopes of the San Juans. The eastern Utah mountains received 4 to 13 inches in the eastern Uintas, 7 inches in the eastern Tavaputs, and 4 inches over the LaSalle's. The higher valleys, particularly in northwest Colorado, received 6 to 12 inches of snow with many downed trees and power lines resulting in power outages. The I-70 corridor, mainly from areas west of Silt to Vale, received 1 to 6 inches of snow. Vernal and Nucla received 4 inches with, of snow, with mainly rain in the lower valleys. Looking ahead to the coming week, high pressure will move into the region this weekend, resulting in gradually warming temperatures and sunny skies through Wednesday. The next potential storm looks to impact the area Thursday into Friday as a low-pressure system deepens over the Great Basin and tracks across the area. Potential exists for more mountain snow and valley rain and snow during this time. There is still some discrepancy on the exact track and strength, but precipitation looks to increase across the area towards the latter half of the week. Stay tuned to the latest forecast as we get closer to this time frame by checking our website at www.weather.gov gjt. This concludes the weather briefing for October 5th, summarizing this past storm and a look at the week ahead. Remember to check our website for the latest forecast. You can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter as well. Enjoy the weekend.